For most outdoor scenes, trees and vegetation take about 30 to 40 percent of your scene composition space. But trees can also take a lot of time and are one of the harder things to make in any 3D application. So having an add-on like modular tree that lets you generate procedural trees in a matter of a few clicks is really appreciated. And given that it's a free add-on that has nearly the same functionality as standalone expensive software like Speedtree, this is something you have to have in your workflow. If you want to download this add-on, you can find the link in the description. It will send you to this page. And all you have to do is click on this code button, hit download or to download the zip file. And after you download the zip file, go to Blender, edit, preferences, install, and navigate to where you have the add-on. Download it, click install, and then activate M3. M3 is an add-on that uses nodes uh, to generate procedure trees and uh, it has its own node editor. To use M3, all you have to do is split your view into a second or third view, change uh, the new view into M3 node editor. And then to create a new tree, just click on new. And this will create a new node tree. And if you hit N, you get the M3 panel and uh, you can select from a different presets. So we can start with the default tree. There are not a lot of presets, but you can design your own tree procedurally are using the nodes that you have. And you can access all the nodes using Shift A and you can see the different nodes I have. But if you just want to get in, you just load the default preset. And this should give you a starting point. Now, if you want to see the tree in your 3D view, just click on this create tree and you see the kind of tree you're getting. So this one doesn't look that interesting, so I'm just going to delete it. Delete all the nodes as well. And then load an old oak tree uh, preset. Click create and you can see a different setup. Then create tree. You can see now what we have. Uh, we have a full tree uh, with uh, branches, twigs and everything. And as I say, this is a procedure tree, so you can change anything you want here at uh, any time you want. So you, you see we have a, a lot of settings here and uh, each of these nodes corresponds uh, to any to a part of uh, the tree here. So if you look at uh, the tree here, let me just disconnect some of these just to show you. Uh, if I update the tree, see without these being connected, uh, we have, we start with the trunk and uh, it gives us this uh, trunk here. Now you can change uh, the lengths are so let me first turn on auto auto update here which is which will just update uh, the tree as we make any changes here bring these closer maybe so you can change uh, the seed uh, to give you a different uh, tree randomize uh, the look of the tree or uh, you can also play with the length and see how it gets shorter and longer play with the radius Everything here is very procedural and uh, there's a lot of things you can play around with. And if you add a branch node, uh, this is going to be giving you the primary branches. So if I connect this, like that gives me uh, the primary branches. You can add as well, change the seed uh, to give you a different look or randomize the different settings here. Uh, again, you can play with the different settings. You can change how much uh, the gravity influences uh, the tree. Again, if you've ever used a speed tree, this really works under functions like a speed tree. You almost have the same uh, settings. Uh, the only difference is the price tag. Uh, speed tree is uh, upwards of $100 and uh, uh, this one here is totally free and already integrated in Blender, so you don't have to open a different application uh, to work with this. And the only difference may be Speedtree has a little bit more functionality than this, and uh, yeah, it's a standalone tool, so it's, it's more powerful. But uh, for most people, uh, for most artists, uh, this is enough uh, to create trees uh, without the expense of investing in a standalone ap application. Now, if you want to add uh, the secondary branches, uh, this would be it and I uh, just connect that and you have those branches let's just give it a moment to calculate you can see how those branches are how those branches look uh, I'm just going to reduce my gravity just a bit maybe to 0.5 
if this is taking a, a lot of time to calculate you can change the output from final at preview and then you have to generate the tree again so that you have a less resolution a lower resolution uh, also these branches seem to be too long so i'm just going to reduce uh the length just a bit maybe to five uh, make sure you have auto update turned on uh, so that you have something like that yeah this looks okay uh, so now we are lacking materials so what we can do is uh, i think first of all let's uh, add some leaves uh, as this lacks uh, leaves uh, to do that you just have to add shift a uh, add twigs and this is where you generate your leaves now you can change you can select uh, the type of tree uh, leaves you want to uh, depending on the type of tree you're creating so if i hit execute i will see, you will see that uh, we have a new branch of leaf bunch of leaves here with textures and everything you can change two different types of leaves uh, let's uh, play with the length and uh, radius just a bit execute yeah, something like that uh, let's see i also don't want a little resolution in that let's also increase the gravity just a bit and uh, this is what we have but uh, this is not attached to the tree uh, so and uh, you don't see any outputs to connect this so it, all you have to do if you want to have this connected to the tree is uh, click on create trees in the three par parameters here three parameters node and it will give you this option to select other uh, tree you want to, the leaf you want to use now that should add the leaves directly onto the tree like, like that this is a uh, quite a lot so i'm just going to reduce uh, the re resolution just a bit so that we don't have a lot of these let me see why should i reduce that from so i'm reducing the number of branches uh, because remember this is the prime these are the primary branches so when you reduce the number of branches there it will also reduce uh, the resolution of the tree and uh, maybe also reduce the resolution of these as well so that uh, we can reduce on the resolution overall resolution and bring this back to something like 10. the tree still looks good i think even with a lesser resolution i think i can also bring back bring down the count of this from 100 that's a lot of branches to something like from 700 to about 100. now i'm just going to increase uh, this something like 20 to give us more branches but uh, with uh, less resolution i think something like this is not that bad you can also change the position of the branches I see if I first disable this and uh, if I first turn off the leaves for a second just so we can easily do look at this so we can also change the start position of these branches by changing the start here so you can make them start way up there or or down like that and uh, then let's connect these back and uh, i also want these branches to start as these starting so if i go to the start for these branches I can just bring them back just a bit like that make them a bit thicker i think that is uh, let's go to the resolution uh, reduce that a bit they don't have to be super detailed now maybe we can do with we can have a little bit more resolution here uh, for these branches i think the length is a bit too high so you see how procedural this is the more time you spend on this the better the tree is going to look uh, let's see we can generate other leaves now i think we have a very interesting tree to look at our trunk lacks the textures so i'm just going to up, hit append uh, to load in some textures for the trunk and uh, if you go to the materials tab now we should be able to 
find some trees here. So we can try red wood and uh, we have something like that. Let me change the cycles because it's a bit faster than easy right now cycles. And uh, I'm going to add the sky texture. I think you can see how how flexible uh, this add-on has. Uh, so yeah, if you like it, uh, you can find the link in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.